Hey there, this is Brett from Gluten Free Traveler. Thank you for stopping by today. I wanted to talk a little bit about roadblocks and how I faced roadblocks after getting my celiac diagnosis. So back in 2014, in the summer, that's when I was diagnosed with celiac. And I had a you know wide range of emotions after my diagnosis, like everyone does. And I had some upcoming camping trips booked. And you know, I just had like a meltdown and I was like, how am I going to go camping? I can't go camping and have a celiac diagnosis. I can't possibly eat gluten-free camping. And after I had my little meltdown, um, I really just sat back and thought about it a little bit more. And with some good encouragement from the people around me, I figured out, you know what, I can totally do this. So I had not only a great summer, I had great camping trips, I had staycations in and around the city and I really moved past these roadblocks. But, you know, I am I know that I'm not alone and a lot of you probably face these roadblocks as well. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time just talking about what those roadblocks are and how to change your mindset and to look at things a little bit differently because th that is going to positively affect you. So some of the roadblocks I know I faced and I've heard from others like you are, you know, I can't relax on a vacation. I have too much anxiety about it. So, you know, if you really piece that back a little bit and, you know, peel the onion, a lot of the anxiety is about eating out. So, you know, a roadblock would be I can't eat out because of cross-contamination or anything like that and I don't want to get sick on my vacation. So a change in mindset for that would be, you know, I can do two hours of research today or this week and I can find some amazing gluten-free restaurants in the area I'm going to and I can have a safe meal out with my family and or friends. So you can just see how that little bit of a change in mindset can really change your outlook on your trip and it will help you reduce any anxiety you have about going out of your home base and doing some traveling. Some other roadblocks I hear people say are, you know, I just don't know where to go. I don't know what the best, where the best place for me to travel to is with my dietary restrictions. And, you know, the change in mindset would be really, I can find places to travel to that have gluten-free restaurants that'll be easy for me to eat out and access. Or you could just say, you know, I want to go on a hot vacation to Hawaii and I am going to do research for two hours this weekend and I'm going to see what restaurants are gluten-free there. So some other roadblocks are I don't want people worrying about me. I don't want to be a bother to people around me. And the change in mindset that I know I had to go through is really just I do not have to apologize for looking after my health. And that was a really big one to finally get over. You know, people maybe feel like a little bit of shame and they don't want to be high maintenance because of having to eat gluten-free. And you know, we really should not ever feel like we are high maintenance for looking after our health. So that change in mindset was really key for me to get out of my comfort zone and start traveling and getting out of my home base a little bit more. So I would love to hear any of your roadblocks and if you're having trouble with them, 
I can try to help you change your mindset or I would really love to see the mind shift changes that you went through after your diagnosis and with a little bit of experience with having to eat gluten free. So thank you guys so much for spending time with me today and I would love to hear from you. Bye.